We are back at the St. Joe 4-H Fair. This fair has celebrated all things agriculture since 1841. In the following decades, the fair and 4-H have grown to include a whole lot more. Our Morgan Farinoff has the details. She's down at the fairgrounds. Hey, Morgan. Hey, truly the animals are such an exciting part of the 4-H program and the fair. I met some of the nicest goats back there, but I also met a 4-H member, Caitlin Prince, who tells me she's been involved in 4-H for seven years, and she has a pig, which she said acts like a lot like a dog. But she, her and her sister also work with more than just animals. In fact, although 4-H did originate so that youth could have an easier transition into the agricultural field, but since then this program has expanded into suburban and urban communities as well. They also now include programs related to STEM, civic engagement, and the arts. 4-H is not just about animals. It is about all of the things you can do at your home. You don't have to be on a farm. You could be living in an apartment and do a crochet project or take some pictures while you're out at the park and just turn them in, see what you get. Anyone from 3rd to 12th grade can join the 4-H program if they're interested in any of these fields. And keep in mind, coming to the fair supports these local programs. Back to you, George. All right, that's our 4-H correspondent, Morgan Farinoff, live at the St. Joe County 4-H Fair for us this evening. Morgan, thank you.